Hey, I just realized I used the wrong mic when I was recording, and uh, this is my second time recording. Very nice. These are Kiefer's cream switches. They are a linear switch manufactured by Gateron and designed by Kiefer. I have no idea what the switch is made of, but all I know is the stem is self-replicating, which probably means it's palm, and the spring is 62 plus or minus 15 grams of force. Drop what? Gateron, wh whoever you are, why the fuck? to go with this kind of spec explanation. You could have just went like 47 grams and I'm like, never mind. Anyways, I got these in October last year. Don't know why, but I probably just wanted to get as many switches as possible to review. And uh, yeah, look how that's going. 10 months since I got these switches and I haven't reviewed them. Pretty good. Any, anyways. Obviously, when you see the name of these switches, you assume these are like a recolor of the NK creams or a clone of it and expected them to be like pulp palm switches. But no, they aren't. Even all the people in the discussion said that too. Like they were either telling people it isn't NK creams or complaining that they aren't NK creams. But moving on, these switches stock are okay. Also, Sound varies when it comes to switches, keycaps, keyboards, desk mat, no desk mat, room size, furniture, window, open window, air conditioner, dampening, mounting system, mic quality, headphones, earphones, shirt on, shirt off, table, plastic, metal, air density, ear sensitivity, everything can affect sound. Yeah, switches stock feel smooth. But that's just because they're just very light switches. But yeah, got a lot of scratch coming from the housing, spring, leaf, just uh, yeah. Okay, honestly, I think, I think they're fine. You know, sometimes you just want to hear some scratchy switches, you know? They just freshen up the ears and the fingies and shit. I don't know, they're fine. How about the Lou version of these switches? Huh. These aren't bad at all. Like sound-wise in this board, they don't sound that great. Hence the disclaimer I always make about sound. Blah, blah. But the feel of these switches are pretty damn good. The light spring with the 205 grade zero and the GPL 105. These switches feel very nice. They come pretty close to like maybe not a GAT yellow, but maybe a GAT red. Cause I mean, they don't feel like a GAT yellow, but they're not as heavy as a GAT. Let's just say they're in the middle of the two, but yeah, I like how they feel. Also whether or not to film these. The switches without film are pretty loose. I film my switches with Kelowna MDI switch films that are 0.3 millimeters thick, and it seems to move less, but I don't know. I don't think it did much of a difference in my opinion. I don't think you need to film them. Who knows? Yeah, there's a sound difference between filmed and non-filmed, but other than that, there's no point, I don't think at least. So would I recommend these switches? Not really. These feel smooth with lube, but you can get better for cheaper. These switches cost $45 for 70, which is 64 cents per switch. And I, I don't think these switches are worth that price. You're telling me that these switches are more expensive than alpacas. You're telling me these are more expensive than Gat Yellows. You're telling me that these switches cost more than a lot of the KTC switches? Not worth it. There are better switches out there that give you the same weight and feel may give you even a better sounding board. This feels good, yeah, but all it is is a recolor of a Gateron switch that never existed. Like, what, what fucking Gateron switch is 62 plus or minus 15 grams of 
force. Like, Ganar on black is 60, red is 45, yellow is 50. What the fuck is this? Either way, there are better switches out there that are better than these and are cheaper. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. I do other keyboard content as well. If you like that, hit the subscribe button. I also have a Twitch. I try to stream every Fridays at a certain time, whenever I can, you know? It'd be like that at uh, twitch.tv slash smiling down. Here's a clip of some of the things that I do over there. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.